Yeah, this side one. Are they both working? Yeah, both working. Oh, okay. So I'm Miss Divine, I'm, I'm a performance artist, and you can see some of my work at msdivine.net, and I'm also on Public Access TV in Manhattan, Brooklyn, and Queens, DC. So you can tune in and watch. And today I'm actually going to read to you, it's what I call a monologue from a character called Anastasia that I created. I don't usually do readings, I usually do performances, where, well, you know, she's writing into her diary. So um, this is going to be like a monologue. So listen carefully if you can. Dear diary, I have deduced the most mathematical equation for my observations. The equation is as follows. A equals B. Just because A precedes B does not mean that the two letters are not equal. They are exactly alike. Let me start from the beginning so you can understand my logic. I normally don't mingle with humans, but today was an exception. I was tired from roaming I decided to sit down in a cafeteria. The cafeteria was divided into two distinct groups of human beings. The first group was labeled Group A, and they all sat to the <coughs> left. The second group was called Group B, and they were all seated to the right. Group A and Group B were enemies. Both felt they were uniquely different. That's probably why they were on separate ends of the room. I sat down to rest on an empty chair that was on the side of group A. I was not very interested in the conversation of the humans in group A, and I found staring at my hands to be much more exciting. I noticed that a good chunk of my skin was beginning to shed. You see, I never really was human. I would wear this human skin when exposing myself in public. I knew if I exposed who I really am, the outrage of humans would be too much to bear, especially since at times I get low on energy and might be unable to defend myself. But today I was feeling extra rebellious, and I was finding these humans to be quite the irritating pest that they always are. So I happily peeled off a piece of this human skin and let it fall to the floor. Immediately the humans in group A started screaming hatred, you are not one of us. Go away. Well, where should I go? I asked. Go over to group B and sit with them, they replied. Hmm. Human logic is full of blunders. Group A does not like group B, and since I, Anastasia, is not liked by group A, the humans assumed I belong to group B. What they fail to understand is that I, Anastasia, walk alone. Anyway, feeling in a mischievous mood, I went over and sat with Group B. This time I started to stare at my legs, for Group B's conversation was just as boring as Group A's. Again, the human skin was peeling off very easily from my leg. This time I completely removed it, and I held it up to the light. Ah, human skin is so frail, so weak, so inferior. And at this point, the humans in Group B were appalled. <coughs> what are you? They screamed in disgust. Vomir! Vomir! Screamed another human in Group B. Vomir? What did that mean? This human was speaking in French. It was saying that the sight of me makes her vomit. <laughs> Why I, Anastasia, was hated internationally as well. At this point, both group A and B gathered around me. Who are you, they screamed. I am not like you, I answered. What do you want, they shouted in unison. I don't want what you want. My answers puzzled them even more, and their perplexity turned into anger. I, Anastasia, had incited a war in a tiny cafeteria. And as I looked down upon these humans, I noticed that they were shrinking getting very, very tiny and very, very insignificant. Suddenly, my head hit the ceiling. Then it dawned on me. 
It wasn't the humans that were shrinking, but it was I, Anastasia, who was growing. The A and B were now mingling with each other. Their hatred of me is what made them bond. Typical. They were never that different to begin with. What have you become? They shouted as they stared at my huge presence. <laughs> I, Anastasia, am on my way to being God. The humans were repulsed by my answer, but at the same time clinched with fear as my ever-growing presence loomed over them. My existence is greater than all of your groups combined, I shouted. Being that I was on my way to being God, I felt strong bolts of lightning surge through me. Ah. My powers were now in full effect, and like the Greek god Zeus, I struck both group A and B with lightning bolts. And watching humans squirm and run around frantically, just before is the most glorious sight to see. Now I understand why gods have so much fun. As a god, I'm not interested in having humans worship me. Humans are kind of like roaches, and no one really cares who roaches worship. But as a god, I have the gift of knowledge, and that is a gift that few have. Anyway, my darling diary, that was my ordeal today. And as far as that mathematical equation goes, I can safely conclude that group A is equal to group B. Thank you.